I hate how that looks. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles, so. Uh, where did it go? What in the world? Oh, crap. Let's not break my stuff. Hey, guys. It's Tia. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see. 2021 is right around the corner. I'm sporting a look that I really wish I could have worn out, but alas, that is not the reality of how New Year's is gonna play out this year. That being said, this look is actually inspired by a look that was featured on the video that I just posted with my mom where she did my holiday glam makeup. If you do want to see that, that is gonna be linked in the description box down below. This look has been living rent free in my head. I have thought about it since I did that last video with my mom. I was so mad that she didn't try her hand out and pick it, but hey, that just gave me an idea to try this look out considering the fact that it was one of the top looks I was considering doing for 2021 New Year's if we were allowed to go out. So if you guys want to see how I recreated this look right here, please stay tuned. As always, if you like what you see, hit that like button and also don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I post videos on Fridays, so if you want to be notified every time I post a video, turn on those post notification bells. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get into it. Start just by putting back the hair. It looks so like, oof, puffy when I do it like this. A little bit red. Let's go in with some calling correcting primer and then we'll go in with a regular setting primer. Okay, so looking at this skin in this picture, you can see that Lucy is probably wearing quite a bit of contour. And I want to just kind of balance the eye makeup with the face makeup a little bit more high coverage in terms of foundation and concealer. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is in the color 425. I've used this in my everyday makeup routine and this is still a really good foundation to use when you're going a little bit more glam and it's affordable. It's a win-win situation. In terms of brushes, I'm actually gonna be doing a tag team buffer brush and a beauty blender. I did the other side of my face off camera. I also just took the time to take the excess off my lips and put a little bit of lip balm. I'm gonna be wearing a matte lipstick, so up until that point, I wanna keep my lips as moisturized as possible. We're gonna go in and highlight and correct the face with concealer. I'm gonna be using both the e.l.f. camo concealer, this is in the color medium neutral. The NYX can't stop, won't stop. And this is in the color true beige. The way I like to do this is this is gonna be my all around color. This is gonna be the highlighting. So this is gonna be going the middle part of my face. This is for all surrounding areas. Because we're going for a little bit more of a full coverage glam kind of look, I'm going to be using a wet beauty sponge to apply my translucent powder. And we're going to be doing a little bit of a faux baking situation just because regular baking takes too long for me, personally. So I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty and this is in the color Banana. So I'm gonna let this bake for 10 minutes and I will be right back. I have baked. Now, instead of just brushing the bake away like I've seen on so many other Beauty Guru channels, I'm actually gonna take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to further add this into the skin 
I don't know if it's a no-no, but I have seen Chintzia do it, um, for, you know, from Chintzia and Sophia, and it always looks really, really good when she does it. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna continue on. say I'm really loving how my skin is looking so far so we are going to go in with the contouring now I just got a new product I'm really excited to try it out I've never used cream contour products before so this is a trial and error situation and this could either go really well or very poorly we're gonna be using the nude sticks this is the face lip and eye in the matte terracotta tanned. I thought it was really, really dark, but this is kind of the color that they advertise for contouring and I tried it out on my hand and it actually looks really good. That's what the color looks like. I'm gonna like suck in as I do this. Okay. I always blend into the hairline just because I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. And I just made it up. It has worked for me thus far. And I will continue to do it until someone tells me. Not that it's incorrect, because if it works for you, it works for you. But if it doesn't look good and someone brings that to my attention, then I'll start um, navigating a different way of doing but until then. I'm kind of having a hard time kind of figuring out what color of blush I should be doing. I feel like besides obviously that bright green eye, everything in terms of face is quite warm. So I should be using maybe a warmer blush as well as a warm gold highlighter. Lucy Hale is so pretty, jeez. Now that I have all the base makeup down, we're gonna go in with our first layer of setting spray. I'm just gonna use a NYX matte finish one. It's this little bottle right here and we're going to generously apply it to the face because this is New Year's Eve makeup. It would be lasting a, a good time. So we're going to apply as so. Right now, obviously you can see my hands and my face are quite different in terms of color, but I assure you, if we're taking photos, I'm still gonna look like a pale ghost. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So let's move on to the brows. As I'm emulating this look, I know I don't have Lucy Hale-esque eyebrows, but I'm gonna do my best to mimic that. And I don't mean I'm going to make my brows thicker. I'm just going to go for that more furrowed, fluffy brow. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a combo of things here. I hate how that looks. That looks awful. Not sure if they're my favorite still, but let's just get on with the actual meat of the look and we're gonna move on to the eyes. I'm really excited for this part. Let's get going. We're gonna be using my favorite palette. This is the Juvia's Place Masquerade mini palette. I've used this in multiple looks. This is the color story. You probably know what color we're going into. Gorgeous emerald green shade. This one is called Maui up here. I want to know, is this a pressed pigment or is it an actual shadow? Molly, sorry, this is Molly. And this one's actually a shadow right up here. We're gonna just do a little, like that's absolutely, do a, like that's, that's wild. Having a little bit of a dilemma. I'm unable to find my favorite and pretty much only highlighter that is going to work for this look. Looking for my Max Off and Gentle. Ooh, 
Where did it go? Uh, where did it go? What in the world? Rare Beauty is my number two choice. Let's let's do this. I said I like the Rare Beauty one, and I do. But I I, I do find that kind of takes the stuff underneath off. So I just gotta be careful. I like using my fingers for this. Actually, like it's actually pretty beautiful if I look. I did obviously to the other side. Did the nose. Now that we're going to the gods, let's continue to the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna still put a base down color, I think. I'm just gonna put like something super matte and simple. I'm gonna go into um, the Naked Basics palette and I think I'm going to go for the color Frisk, which is this taupey color right there. And I'm just going to lay that down on my lid and smoke it up a little bit. I was gonna originally take my ankle brush and draw this shape that I thought that this eye look had. But honestly, I really just think I'm gonna lay down this color on my lids and then begin to smoke it out because there is less of a shape than I had originally thought. Now or never. The color laid on my eyes. Now from the corner of my eye, I'm gonna literally have to start smoking it up just because right now it looks like I really just have it on the lid and this needs to be smoked out all the way up to the top over here. And then we're going to bring it down under. This eye is done in terms of the green. I need to just kind of shave off the end of this and just keep it a little bit more round. So for the liner, I'm gonna be using this Stila Smudge Eyeliner. This is a brown. This is the color Lionfish. I use it all the time. This is the color right here. It has a little bit of a sparkle in it, which I really like. I think it'll really work. As on top lash, I'm gonna tight line my lid as well, and then I'm gonna go in the waterline. I think I might do a tiny bit of a wing, anything too over the top, but we still wanna create a little bit of depth. I went a little bit happy with the wing, but I really like how it looks, to be honest, so. I went back a little bit. I kind of got rid of the wing. I honestly didn't think it needed it. Again, like I said about what lashes would kind of do to this look, that's what I kind of thought that the wing was doing to this look. It was just kind of taking away. So I'm going to continue, finish the other eye off camera, and then I will be back for the rest. Finally, my other eye is done. That took way too long. This is definitely a look that I probably should have done. My eyes before my face, but trial and error. I'm actually obsessed with how this looks. Um, in terms of wear, I'd wear it. I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm a little bit more daring now that I'm older with my makeup and that's just how I am as a person. But for a holiday event, especially something like New Year's, this is definitely something I would do. So let's finish up with the lips. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a glossy nude. I'm going to line with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This needs to be um, definitely sharpened. <laughs> I'm not overlining. I cannot stand how my lips look overlined. The only thing I tend to do to plump them up a little bit more is I do kind of draw a little extra lip just on the sides. Besides that, we I 
I don't do it. It just, it looks ridiculous on my face. And that's that on, on that. This is a bullet lipstick from Huda Beauty. It's a matte, this is prom night. I got this because of Molly Mae. We're gonna just pop this in. Last but not least, we're gonna be going in with a clear lip gloss from MAC and just popping that right on top to give a really nice glossy finish. All right, and that is this look all done. I am just absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I love how it looks with my curly hair. It looks really 70s slash 80s. I can't wear it out. But I just thought this would be a fun little video just to celebrate the new year, ring in what hopefully will be a much better year than 2020. I had no idea what I was gonna get as an end result walking into this, but I'm really happy. Sure, it took a little bit longer, but of course that is what practice is for. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. As always, please turn on those post notifications if you do want to know when I post a new video. And that's all I have for you guys right now. So I'm wishing you a happy and healthy New Year's and an amazing 2021. And I will see you on the next one. Later, lovelies. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.